<laughs> that's not even rolling. We're rolling in there. Okay, so that's not rolling? Correct. Okay. If I get this into edit and I'm like, where's the video? <laughs> it's an audio podcast. Fantastic. With reference audio. <laughs> Do you want to go check it? So I see the back of the monitor right there. If only it were turned around. <sighs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't. don't. Okay. I mean, I, I just hit record on it. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Untitled Podcast. This is episode 14. You needed one last finger. 14. <laughs> but you got to do it faster. 14, there you go. All right, what are we going to talk about today on the we, Untitled Podcast? Uh, it has been a little while since we've been rapping at you. Um, Nobody's ever rapped at anybody. Let's. Jim and Shower raps at everybody. But it's always been a while since I've rapped at you. Okay. All right. I forgot. Was that an onion reference? Yeah. It's an Got onion it. reference from 30 years ago. When the onion started. Yeah. When it was cool. Okay. So anyway. Um... Do you know that I actually, in the Onion magazine, it was actually a newspaper and they would hand it out newspaper. for free. And I think it started in Madison. Yes. And so, but they would go to, on Thursday nights, they would go to bars and hand out $2 to the drunkest person they saw. And drunk of the week. I know two drunks of the week. <laughs> very nice. Very no, nice. I don't know if that's nice or not, but let's just say I know two drunks of the week. That's my personal claim to fame. It's not like, you know, I met JFK or, you know. You know two drunks of the week. Very nice. I, um, I, uh, I don't know what happened. So after, after high school, <laughs> you know, we went off to college and then went <laughs> back to the town, the small town and. For some reason, people that had... you are from? Yes. Okay. Well, well that I went to high school. Okay. Not where I'm from. People there, for some reason, thought that I started The Onion. I can see... I can't see that. You're not that funny. I... Oh. Or that sarcastic. I... Oh. I am both of those things. <laughs> no, you're not. We... I'm turning this studio around. <laughs> like, physically? <laughs> like, just now we're going to shoot the other yep. way? Turning this... Stew you around. <laughs> or is that a threat? Like I'm gonna turn this car around if you don't pay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. See you're just you're just not you're just not savvy enough to get my humor. That's all. That's all there is to it. You're am, just smart enough. You're I'm not just, smart enough to I'm get just my humor. bored about it. <laughs> anyway, what do we have going on and this week in Kickstarter? Oh, we're going right into it. Well, you're I not don't even know. gonna do a thing. You're not even <laughs> gonna talk about what we're doing, even though nobody knows what we're doing. So uh, I've been working a lot. Okay. And therefore... And by a lot, were you working as much as I was? No. Okay, let's talk about what we <laughs> what we assume a lot is. Let's air quote you. Been, every, I've been working Every a day lot. is a lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the world's tiniest violin. I don't see a violin. All right. And so, yeah, we didn't do the wick because I was on a show. You were on a show. You, you worked 14 days in a row. Yeah, I did. And they were like 12 plus hours a day. So it wasn't like a small feat. I essentially went to work, came home, went to bed, I got least, back up, yeah. went to work. And if I wasn't at work, I was at my desk, basically worked from like six in the morning till nine at night and then just went back to bed. Anyway, that's why uh, there hasn't been one of these. We mm -hmm. looked at our document. Uh, you know, whenever we see things that are cool, we throw them in a document for us to talk about. Everything had expired or finished. Yeah, we're but like, by how long? Oh, we're going like to look at these cool things. And they're like, this ended a month ago. See, that's why this show is perfect for me, because if I see it and I put it up, like, right before we shoot, then I remember it. If it's in a document, pff, that's gone. I, you know, if it happened yesterday, it's just out of my head, out of my brain. If it's in the cloud, is it really a document? Mm -mm. No, it's if it's in the cloud, I'm usually asking people, where is that again? <laughs> People keep sending me links to drives that I'm shared on. Yep, it's exactly. The same, it's the same link that they send every time. All I have to do is star it, and then I always know where it is. I don't star anything, because it doesn't matter. Even if you star it, you're still never going to find it in the sea of documents that have been yeah. shared with you. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. Where did we get, where did we go wrong? Uh, Are you going to make a noise for the wick? 
Kapoo. <laughs> Kapoo. 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 What do you? Pew. You're the noisemaker. <gasps> oh, I'm sticking with it. Pew is apparently it. All right. Um, it's a. It's a. Yeah. So you're on the. Oh no, you're not on the wrong one. So I did most of the wick basically all of the wick this week and i think i may have done it this morning so the things that i want to talk about you okay what's happening my mic where not. are you going <laughs> my mic my mic's not it's my mic is over here bye i think it's fine um so we're gonna talk about things that i like and things that thomas probably hates but i don't know because i haven't seen it okay so the first thing i'm gonna talk about is ultimate werewolf extreme because you can't put that many expletives in the in a sentence ultimate werewolf extreme by bezier games i am disappointed there is not a single exclamation point in that graphic i feel there are exclamation points it's just it's implied yeah it's implied it's it's implied extreme just implies Uh that there are exclamation points yep and it also implies monster and your name being Kyle, but I'll get on with it. So, uh, $218,000, that's, uh... That's not bad for what feels like an expansion to the werewolf game. So, what, so, for werewolf... Should we talk about what werewolf werewolf is? Yes. Close (laughs) your eyes. And the tanner is going to come to town. Wait, no, that's... That's not even close. kind of werewolf. No, it's not. There's a tanner. So, werewolf is a party game. We play it a lot with Ezra and our, um... Our RPG, group. yep, our, our home group. game group. Mm-hmm. And so it, we kind of treat it as like a party starter or a party, not necessarily a party ender, but just as people sort of show up and we don't get into like a lot of games quite yet. We're still, you know, deciding who's going to get into like a six hour game of Scythe and, you know, <laughs> not me. Um, and who's yeah. going to play like Wits and Wagers and who's going to play all that other stuff. So we usually do a round or two of Werewolf to kind of get everybody away from the food and sort of pile everybody towards gaming tables. And I never play it. Yeah, you do. food. Anyway. Ezra's always the werewolf. That's all I know. Just straight up, no matter what you're doing. He's actually usually the moderator. But yeah, you're right. He is also the werewolf. There's an iPad for that now. Mm -hmm. So what happens is you can have, I think we've played, what, like 11, 12 people in this game. And essentially you are two roles. You are a werewolf or you are a villager. Or you are the seer. Just calm down. I'll get there. Okay. Okay. Um, But essentially those are the basics. If you've never played werewolf. Villager, werewolf. Yep. And so you're given a card. You don't share it with anyone. (laughs) Apparently, I don't know what that is. It's two puppets talking talking to each other. (laughs) Um, And you, the moderator, kind of runs the game and essentially everybody closes their eyes and then the werewolves open their eyes, identify each other, then everybody goes to sleep. And then like if your other roles within this game, they have special abilities, you open up your eyes, you identify yourself to the moderator and your other cohorts or whatever Mm -hmm. who are the same thing. And then you go to sleep. Um, then the werewolves basically decide in the night to kill somebody. So the werewolves open their eyes and they point. We do a lot of like, you know, a lot of pointing at people and just mm-hmm. decide who we're going to kill. So then you wake up and the moderator says, you know, so and so is dead. This one person is dead. And then you basically, as a village, decide who is a werewolf to kill because murder begets murder is the way it should be. You know, so Not at all. if you are a werewolf, you should just not kill anybody. I don't know. I what? I mean, why can't I mean, we just live in peace and harmony? You should, but that's not how the game is played. The game is played by vengeance and suspicion and revenge. So that's this takes a lot more complex than Werewolf. It is very much complex. So that's why I'm feeling like it's a little bit of an expansion pack because eighty four roll cards. Okay, there there are the physical cards. Scroll down a little bit. So you have thirty nine bonus rolls. Sorry, everything has an exclamation point on it and a question mark. Extreme bonus rolls. <laughs> Extreme strategy. <laughs> God, scroll up. There's a rule book? I mean, this tells me this is way, uh, there's way more than just werewolf. Well, it it is. Thus, the 69. Ultimate werewolf extreme. You can't just be just werewolf (laughs) if you're called ultimate werewolf extreme. What did you think? That, like, the werewolf was going to drink monster and drive a monster truck when it's extreme? I don't know. I mean, anyway. um, So, here's what I'm trying to get at is the fact that, (laughs) besides the fact that you scare me and frighten me sometimes with your dumbness, but you get a bunch of stuff with this, but it's also $69. And I know at first you were like. $69. Nine. Stop, stop. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of as soon as I saw 69 That's why they made it $69. 
Well, the fact that, well, and again, for, I'm 50 for 50. Chi childish people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're 50 50 whether you want to back it or not? No, I'm 50 50 is whether I think $69 are, is worth it because, again, you're getting stuff like card sleeves. You're getting stuff like a tray table thing to like put all your cards and things in. Um, you know, the real substantive stuff here that you get is, do you want to say it again? Extreme? No, 89 roll <laughs> cards, 39 bonus rolls. That, I mean, it, this to me feels like this is, this is way more than just werewolf. Is this... It is. I mean, you're getting all of these rolls. You're getting a rule book. You're getting a strategy oh. guide with it. So a... you get uh, minis. No, that's the ninety-nine dollar version. Scroll back up. So like, you also get the new rolls. So there are rolls where like you get to like look at. I don't. Need, I can't even remember what some of the rolls are. There's the tanner. You keep saying that like that's the only thing you know. <laughs> What does the tanner do? Uh, I didn't think so. I don't. Didn't even. I don't know. Think the so. seer gets to uh, see something. See something. <laughs> There's uh, a mayor. What's a mayor? There do? is a mayor. <laughs> I don't know. The mayor doesn't do anything. I don't think. <laughs> very true. <laughs> very very. Hides true. Hides in their condo is what they exactly. Do. Um, so that's what you get, and then. What I also found very interesting is that you get a PDF, like a 200 page like PDF about how to trick your friends. I'm like, I already know how to do that. It, it, there's no tricking your friends because if you trick your friends into thinking you're a werewolf, you're going to be out of the game. But we can trick, if you're a werewolf and you trick your friends into the fact that you're a villager to and kill you the live, bear. It, yes. Okay, whatever. You're That's not the, even understanding the rules. As um, a werewolf, you want the villagers to kill one of their own. Correct, so and they usually can, do. <laughs> so that you can then return uh, later and eat more villagers. Exactly. So again, I'm glad you got the point of this. Um, but there's just a bunch of ancillary nonsense. Like, if you scroll back... There's a prairie wolf oh, God. character. God, scroll back up. You're in, being weird now. Um, there's, like, slap-on wrist bracelets for if you've been killed. Like, does that feel like a $69 or a $99 value? No, no. Okay. Especially in COVID where we're never going to be around each other. We're never going to have... And that's also what I thought was interesting, too, is that in the video, they play old footage of a bunch of people getting together. Like, I was just... When I saw this today, I was very confused what was happening, why it's coming out now. Um, I just was like, maybe he needs money. I don't know. Anyway. I mean, you know, when you design a game, you have to put it out. And if your strategy is to put it on Kickstarter, that's when you do it. And I'm sure that this was postponed for a while. Um, mm hmm And other, and now other it's out. conjecture and nonsense. And now it's out. And there's 219,000 people no. for dollars. Yes. 2,514 people. Yep. Um, what? Our biggest problem with Werewolf is it requires... Friends? Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, much like, you know, we were sent a game pretty early and on. And we enjoy to play. gatherings, but we hate people. <sighs> One of the best lines from that movie. That and Salsa Shark. Clerks, check it out. I don't um, remember Salsa Shark. Chip and the Salsa? No. Randall? No. Not at all. Damn I remember it. the shoe polish. Damn it. Okay. Anyway. Uh. Dante wasn't even supposed to be there today. I wasn't supposed to be here today. Either. <laughs> Let's. Should we go on? Should we move on? Uh, we should. So um, that is a lot of money for a werewolf. Great. Do, I'm so glad you summed it up. Do you do you have a better suggestion? Not really, but I have a shittier suggestion. Oh, <laughs> good one. And that is shitty werewolf. Shitty werewolf. Um, Shitty Werewolf is right in my price range, $8. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it essentially looks like hand-drawn playing cards to, and again, it's an expansion to Werewolf, the classic game. So these are basically by two <laughs> schmoes who do some, some shitty drawing. Um, and essentially these are, instead of having different... Um, cards to play or different roles to play, you play this role on top of your current role. So if you're a villager, you know, there's one that says you're a mansplainer. You could also be a werewolf and a mansplainer. Um, you could be a swearwolf and a villager. Can you? I don't know. I'm assuming so. Okay. Um, yeah. 
You could be a werewolf <laughs> denier. This looks like an awesome expansion. Exactly. And for $8, <laughs> it's even more awesome because you know what? For $8, I mean, what is that? That we spend more getting coffee sometimes than what shitty werewolf would be. And so I think that's that's a huge value. Um, and for $25, you can get some shitty sketches. Custom shitty sketch. Shitty custom sketch. That's awesome. Okay. So again, it's um, I I so enjoy it, werewolf it personally. It requires the game of werewolf. Yes. And this is an expansion mm -hmm. that you add in addition to what you're currently playing on top of. So it's not like there's more. There's just more roles, or basically like um, you're kind of playing a character within your werewolf game, if you will. Add role playing to your villager eating. Mm hmm. And tricking your friends nonsense now is this um is this pdf or, or is there a physical who cares <laughs> um so let's... i mean it's shitty so i could only hope it's a pdf that i print and then cut out with like some crappy semi-sharp scissors because that's on brand for one shitty copy werewolf. of shitty werewolf shipping charged after the campaign that is not a pdf nope that is a that is a legit publication so now you're calling them publishers. Is that a resume builder? These these guys are published game designers <laughs> because they've already raised more than the three hundred forty dollars that they were trying to. Uh, Four hundred and twenty dollar goal. You know, some things are not code. Brad 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 Meltzer would be like, wait a minute, sixty nine dollars for a werewolf, four twenty for shitty werewolf. What is wrong we with need to, you? We today? need to get Brad Meltzer on, on this right now. He's busy writing children's books right now, <laughs> not thinking about 69 and 420, sir. All right, can we move on? <laughs> You're killing me. Uh, All right, so what look is at this? how cool this is. What is this? Is this, um, a, is this metal? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't read the words. I just saw the dice and said yes. These are metal. I don't think so. Scourge of the industry. Oh, stop. It's not metal. I can tell you what it is in a second if I can just find it. Table breaking metal. Uh, Polyhedral designer dice set for D&D. <laughs> Pathfinder, Call of Cthulhu, and tabletop RPGs. You added that first part, didn't you? No. Table breaking metal polyhedral dice. Okay. They're not going to break the table. Uh, have you seen the dice tray? As soon as Aaron started using it with his metal dice, it just it's pockmarked. Okay, that's whatever. Metal dice. Get over it. Metal okay, dice. Okay, so can I tell you what's cool about them? Yes. Everything? They're bigger and heavier. Okay, that's what she said. Keep scrolling. <laughs> you started it. You started it. So first off, instead of a D4, they did a 12-sider. Okay. A four. So now it rolls better than a D4, and it's also, you know, when you step on it, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Honestly, I think if you step on any dice, Still going to hurt. Yeah. But it's not going to puncture. Yep. And again, the design is awesome. All the colors are awesome. The, what? The, these are nothing but cheater dice, Amy. Yeah, so what? You That's cannot, my MO. You cannot read any of those. <laughs> I can't see. those. There are no numbers on any of those dice. Those are just, just shapes. You know... I was gonna, I was gonna say something, but I'm just. These are, if these were wives, this would be my trophy wife. <laughs> the wives of dice, the trophy wife of dice, is that a thing? I don't think that's a, so. That's a far reach, isn't it? That's kind of a bit of a stretch to go there. Yeah. Well, what would you call it? Then? I would put a trophy wife in, in jail. Trophy dice <laughs> in jail. Trophy <laughs> dice wife. What are you saying? <laughs> Anyway. Anyway, how much are these dice? They're not cheap. They're pounds as well, and I didn't decide. <laughs> I didn't want to do the math. It's, uh, Kickstarter does that for you. Yeah, but you have to purchase it. No, no, no. It's huh? a, so, so. No, what does that say? That says pounds. It's about $2. That's all it is. It's cheap. No, that's not what it says. Okay, so if you scroll down, essentially it's a la carte. So yeah, they give so you, you pricing. So you pledge as much as you want, and then you figure out the math on your own. So like a set of, like a seven a seven sider set, a set of seven polyhedral dice is 45 pounds. Don't ask me what the math is on that. It's roughly double. Okay, so that's like 90 bucks. 90 bucks. How many pounds did you Four, say? 45. 45. Do you need glasses? You, you're blaming the dice for cheating, <laughs> when really I just don't think you can see. So it's 45, which is $90, approximately. 
maybe more, maybe less. We'll see. Oh, less. Yeah. But, um, and then there's shipping, which isn't cheap either, but. And it comes from the UK, and then sometimes you end up getting DHL from the UK, which they don't have a tracking number, and then they tell you that your thing is lost, and it's not lost, but it shows up 10 days later. I, anyway, I'm going to get Do you have a neighbor that works for DHL? What? Yeah. So, walking the dog around the neighborhood around noon, I would always see a DHL van around the neighborhood. How is that going to help me get any packages, though? I don't know. Okay. At first, I thought maybe there was a... a I'm going to look at the dice while you tell the story because I don't care anymore. A DHL rendezvous that happened every day around noon. That's possible. With a FedEx truck? With DHL. Okay. The... Was it two DHL trucks? Okay. There were two FedEx trucks in front of the house the other day. I thought that was pretty fun. God. Wow. <laughs> Your COVID life has gotten really sad. <laughs> I took a photo of it. And then what? I was going to share it. And then nobody... Okay. Whatever. I'm just going to yeah. let you have that. <laughs> Oh, so, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 what? Still can't read these these numbers. So these I can almost are, read these. These are custom painted, so you can get DIY finishes as well. And so look at that. That's cool. Yeah, you can't read any can't numbers. Read Nobody cares. cares. Uh, you know who cares? The dungeon master or game master or so, keeper. Again, I think these are a little... Ooh, glow-in-the-dark ones are cool. Um, I think that this is more about the look and the presentation than it is about the functionality. So you put these on your shelf. You don't actually roll them. Especially if they look like the ones that have like a knife sticking through it with like an entire like collage around it. What yeah. is that called? When you put a terrarium. That's like a terrarium dice. Close. I think I'm spot on here. I think it's a... Uh... Anyway, so I'm not going to buy them, but they're freaking awesome. Yeah. Okay. What is... Uh, no, no, no. Uh, we'll, we'll move on to whatever this is. Guess what this is. Well, it's Board Game Knits. What do you think it is? Volume 2. Mm-hmm. It is a book. Mm-hmm. That tells you about yarn. Mm-hmm. And? I'm, I'm waiting. You're going to wait a while. To see more. Okay. Uh, designs. Patterns. Patterns. So, Settlers of Catan, um, I forgot, what is it? Sagrada, Seven Wonders. So, essentially, it's, So, you can knit your own board game. There you go. And you can knit it into either, like, socks or a poncho or I don't know what. Like, things you knit, I guess. Maybe a blanket. Um, you know. I feel like I'm all of a sudden on a game show. Uh, things you knit. <laughs> um, things you wear on your feet. Um. So, what are socks? Oh, Christ. Anyway. Should never. Socks. Yep. Ponchos. Gloves. Hat. I forgot the hat. Okay. Can I get... I have glasses in my bag if you need some. <laughs> it's like four feet away. Anyway. Anyway. So okay. I thought this was fun so this just is... because it's different. It's completely different and it's in the game space. And so that's kind of why I liked it. And, It's you also know, in pounds. Ah, but it's way cheaper pounds. These are those different Way pounds. less pounds. <laughs> Fewer? Fatter. Skinnier. Actually, 18 pounds is only $24. Skinnier That's not pounds. bad. It's not bad. Uh, skinnier pounds? No, no, pounds? I'm just saying that, that here. So these people converted to euros. Okay, never mind. But well, euros are, are, are pretty close to <laughs> We're going to say dollars. euros are our friends. So 34 pounds are about 52 euros, which is about $52, about 50. I don't know. I don't know. Depends I don't do conversions. I just just get the money and just buy things. I don't care. Okay. Um, that's the way I operate. Um, so, yeah, I just thought it was completely cool. Um, you know, gaming space adjacent. Fun if you're into knitting. It's just different. Um, yeah. You know, the designers, all different kinds of people coming from all different walks of life. So that was pretty cool that a bunch of people got together and made this. And at the bottom, they tell you kind of what, you know, Yep, there's the people who made it. And then I thought this was kind of cool, too, is the fact that they're just like, this is what your fees go to. And so they've broken it down as far as, like, you know, it'd just be interesting to know, like, you get, you know, 24% of it is for the pattern in the yarn. And 37% of what you pledge is for printing the actual book and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I thought that was cool. Nice. Mm hmm Okay. It's a pie chart. I mean, not really. I mean, it's a donut chart. Oh, is that what they're called? I don't know. It's a circuit. I don't know. I'm sure circuit. there's a word for it. I don't want to look it up, though. All yeah. right. It's a pie chart. 
Okay, so that's my thing. That's Those are it. my things. Okay. I don't think I'm going to, well, I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. I kind of want to buy a shitty werewolf, but you hate yeah. playing werewolf. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, first off, it's a party game, which means that I don't have to play it. I could go play Lords of Vegas. <laughs> I think the last time we had this conversation, I was bringing Gloomhaven to the party instead of you because there's only so much room in the car. Did we so, have that on camera? Yeah, I think we did. Okay. And I don't think you have to come to this party either, where I bring shitty. <laughs> shitty werewolf. Yeah. Um, the good. dice are kind of expensive for me, and plus I think I've OD'd on dice right now. I had bought a lot of dice lately, and I'm just waiting for those dice to show up. When you talk about $90 being expensive, it's not expensive because I had a lapse of judgment, and I bought those dice from those guys in the East Coast who make those tables. Wormwood. Yeah, that's it. Those people. Um, yeah, in hindsight, I don't know. Maybe I would have should have gotten these instead. Uh, whatever. Anyway, so I've spent as much money on dice. I'm just not in the mood to spend it right now. I would definitely buy this if I could knit or if I could get you to knit something. I'm not going to knit something. Are you sure? Yes. Ever? Yes. When you're old, what are you going to do for a hobby? Not knit. What are you going to do? The same thing I do every day. Annoy me? Yes. And try and take over the world. Make those, a mess? Those two things. I don't see. I Well, whatever. Anyway. All right. All right. Those so, are my things. All what's right, up with, so what's up with you? What's up with me is, what's up is with that? Mike from Berkeley Stamp and Engraving mm -hmm. uh, sent us a Kickstarter because it's a friend of his that is running this um, Kickstarter. And in good friend style, you did what? I tweeted about it. <laughs> That's what I did. And I put a Facebook post up saying, hey, the we, are, best friend ever. we are not going to be recording the Untitled Podcast for a while. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to get to Dog's Bond in time mm -hmm. for it to be over. So please go check it out. Hey. But um, they made their goal. They made their goal. Cool. Um, there are 12 hours to go for when we record this. I bet that or once it's done, you can still go to Backer Kit and Late Pledge. Oh, how does that work? Sometimes, well, if you're using a funding platform like Backerkit or something like that, they mm -hmm. often have a, hey, you missed it, but you can still get it now. Interesting. So how does that work, though, for the developer? You know, so Alex Liu, so if he's like, okay, we funded, I now owe 429 people stuff, like how does that work? When does it close? Is there a timeline? Because at some point, Alex has got to be like, I need to make these games. Uh, Too many questions for you? I know. It's okay. It's like three weeks uh, until you get your money. So that is open and available. And Got it. people have to go to Backer Kit, enter all their information. So it is a it is a process. It's not that bad of a that process, That takes a little though, long. If you're excited about it and you missed it. Yeah. So You, sh yeah. you should have never told me about this, by the so way. So Dog's Bond is a family game. In an, and <gasps> That's our dog. I know. And you are trying to rescue, or you are dogs, <laughs> trying to, you're not trying to escape the pound, no, you are trying to um, get enough materials and things together to rescue a dog. And take I'm a home. dog rescuing a dog? I think you are a dog who is, is in a trench coat, um, <laughs> sneaking into the dog pound. If I could come back, <laughs> like if reincarnation existed, I would want to be that dog with like a hat and a trench coat walking on my hind legs with a pipe maybe. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, so you you are uh, you are a dog, and you are trying to. I don't believe you. Um, what you're, you're trying to to go to a forever home, and uh, you need to collect things, and and uh, like treats. Yeah, like treats, and and you have to know how to wag your tail. Um, you have to know how to sit, uh, and then you can get rescued and okay. go to your forever home, and it is a family game. Okay. So, um, I, I like the artwork. I think it's very friendly and nice. Mm -hmm. um, and the border collie looks like our dog. I know, so adorable. All right, and so how much is it? Let's scroll over here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pledge a seven dollar pledge. Let's try thirty dollars or more. Thirty dollars for board game. Yep, there we go. That sounds about right. Yeah, for retail. Yeah. You know, if you were going to buy something at Target or mm. wherever you buy normal board games for normal people, like the children would play, you know, that's about, that's about where you're at, 20 to 30 bucks. <gasps> Sticker. 
We can get a sticker of a border collie. Do you think Mike could hook us up with just stickers? Well, why don't we why don't we back it? Okay. I mean, we've got twelve hours. Okay. I mean, I don't know if I'd play the game, but I want the stickers. Uh, I mean, how many games have we bought to support our friends that we've never played? Okay, we basically barely play games because we don't have time to play games. Oh my god! And then just just buy it. Just I can't even handle it. Can you so get a dog with if it? You, do you want our dog? <laughs> Take our dog. We'll get a sticker of our dog, and you can have the dog. She's fine. She's totally fine. Uh, vet bill says otherwise. But <laughs> continue. Uh, anyway, so uh, if that is, if there are late pledges, check that out. Um, we'll send we'll, we'll send one more tweet out once we back this. So yeah, you'll probably. find out what day we backed it. What day we, we recorded this? That would be Thursday something something uh, September third. Sounds good. Yep. Uh, August 1, 2020 is on the uh, on this document Ooh. for when, uh, when we were supposed well, we're to record close. this. I mean, it's the beginning it's of September. It's only a month. I told you my August was going to be terrible. All right. And then the last um, the last Kickstarter is one that actually isn't out yet. This Ooh, previews. is another one from Nord Games, but it's a little different. This one is the Ultimate Bestiary Miniatures. So the uh, so the ultimate bestiary is around here somewhere. Yes, uh, the especially the I'm like it's not the woodlands. It's the uh, huh? monster one. Monstrous races. Is it yeah. around here somewhere? Yeah, it's over there. Is it over there on the on the? It's over there, um, but it you know it has all new orcs and goblins. And that's where like the goblin goblin bomber is from. All, all sorts of cool. What about that monsters. wood thing, the wood stick thing that you you fought? Like, um, never mind. The wood stick thing. I don't remember the blithe. The blight lich. Yeah. That was from the dreaded accursed. Okay. I don't know if they're going to have those, or if they are only going to have the ones uh, from the the horde, Revenge of the Horde. Mm-hmm. That I think is what it is. Okay. But it doesn't say it, so maybe they will have more. Anyway, so they are launching. Um, this Kickstarter on September 15th, and they are looking to meet their goal on day one, $75,000. Wow. Do we have any idea how much pricing is or anything? Uh, no. You should have just asked. You should have literally I just been like, asked. hey, Chris. <laughs> um, however, um, these look like they're going to be miniatures to get. So it's not like you're just buying... M- STL files mm-hmm. to use in a 3D printer. You're actually these are actual miniatures, and I bet you they even have um, high dollar painted ones. Oh, thank God! I wonder if I wonder if we know people that would be painting them. Uh, I hope so, and I have to say thank God because I really don't <sighs> ever want to paint. A no, mini. no, no, pre-painted minis. That's all. Yes, that's all I want to do. Yes, that's, that's it. all I want. That's it. I've painted a mini once. Pre-painted terrain would be nice, too. Yeah, well, Whiskey. that's expensive. Anyway. So, yep, September 15th, that's going to come out. That is going to be awesome. More miniatures from your for your games mm-hmm. when you get back to in person when this is all over. Or just to have. Put on a shelf next to your expensive dice. <laughs> right? With right. your $90 dice. That, that's an expensive shelf full of a lot of stuff over there. Yeah. Anyway. So that's I see I see two werewolf games over there that are unopened. Yeah, Werewolf Legacy and One Night Werewolf. Yeah. Well, mm, eh. Yeah. Mm. Both unopened. Mm. Things have happened. Things have happened. You anyway. can't play well, here's the thing. You can't play werewolf with two people. <laughs> We're both werewolves, who are we gonna kill? Or only one of us is a werewolf, and the other one knows. Round one. If they're not one, it's over. Anyway, so that is. Uh, that you is. Could, I bet you you could gamble on it. There's got to be a way to be like, what are well, the okay, ch- okay. What? what? Okay. Whoa. Two, two player okay. werewolf. Game design brainstorm session. Right, two player werewolf. This. Two cards yeah. face down. Mm-hmm. One of them's a werewolf. How do you know? Like, does it have to be? And then also, is it like Texas Hold'em where you get some up card, some cards oh. that are up as well? Okay, okay. So two cards face down. Mm-hmm. Could be Villager, could be Werewolf, could be Tanner. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> what? Did you guys have a relationship? What is happening? <laughs> Continue. Where's this going? Okay. And then and then you have your flop or whatever you call the... Uh... 
the thing down in down in the middle. Then we close our eyes and we wake up in the morning, like literally. And hope maybe somebody's moved them around. Maybe somebody hasn't. Maybe somebody's looked. I do like that. No, that's too hard. That's too hard yeah, if somebody tries yeah, to look. That's awful. Um, okay, so, but I was thinking more of like a betting game. Like you have... Five dollars, like, you're the werewolf. <laughs> okay, always I play like the werewolf, regardless of if I'm a werewolf or not. Kill the tanner. That's the first thing you do. Um, <laughs> but what happens if you, there was a combination, kind of like kind of like Texas Hold'em or whatever that card game is that you play you need Blackjack? To, you, you, need to get, you need to get three werewolves in your hand, right? And there's got to be a elimination process here. So like there's a couple villagers or a couple like seers or tanners or whatever up and then something hmm, I'm it's close. It's real close. I'm feeling it. So maybe so maybe there's a maybe so maybe there's like and a combination of stuff like you have to say, you know, you have to like bet on this or like a combination of like one of the up cards and the two down cards. Like your your hand versus what those two are down and then you have to determine like out of the odds, do you die or do you live? You know, so if one of those is a werewolf, okay. you okay. automatically lose unless you have two werewolves in your hand or something like that. Okay. If you have two werewolves in your hand... It's better than one I mean, of the that bush. Is a, that, no, that is a... I don't know. It's a full house right there. That's all I'm saying. Is that, that's a lot of werewolf to put into one house. <laughs> okay. All right. This is... Whatever. Game design with quests and chaos. We have no idea how to, how to game design. Not at all. Anyway, um, what else is happening? I think is that for the wick? Is that it? What, what's happening is is the phone in my pocket is just buzzing like crazy. Well, let's see who it is. Let's just answer it on just answer it on stream. Be like, hey, what up? Right, who is right. it? It is. Oh, what happened to Chris? <laughs> Did he leave something here? No. Uh, so he uh, he rented a camera mm -hmm. from us, and it balanced per perfectly on the right. on the Wee Bill S. Okay. And then I got Google Hangouts messages. Okay. So I think the last thing that we probably want to talk about potentially is the fact that we're doing a King Sumo, right? And that we're also... We are, yes. Did you forget about that? No. Thank God we put this at the end of the podcast, the important stuff, like the things you can get for free. We are giving away two Nord Games books. Where are they? Oh, one's over there. Yeah. <laughs> the other's like over there. So this, the not, organization I'm of this place. Getting, is, uh, it's, 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 I'm not getting up to get either. <laughs> uh, one of them's open. The other one isn't. Um, you keep pointing over there. Is that where it is? It's actually, yeah, it's right over there. They were th actually both on the chair. I think I decided to put one away and never got to the other one because leaving a book on a chair is a great place to leave it. Uh, it is because I grab it and I show it. Hey, except for it got moved over there. So, uh... King Sumo, if you go to bit.ly slash QNC giveaway, um, you will find a link to that. And what that does is every time you follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, um, anything in our social media, join our newsletter, you should really do that. Um, you should also just do a newsletter every once in a while. Yes, we should. Um, you get entered into win that uh, collection Dry. of goods, which is two books. Uh, three books. One of them is Carbon 2185, a rule book you cannot actually get what? from the Dragon Turtle Games website. Why? Uh, they ran out. Ooh. So basically, I shouldn't maybe give it away. I should we sell should it for like how much? eBay it for like four times as much. Oh, yeah. I've, I've, first off, that would be a violation of Quebec lottery rules if we didn't have that included because we already said that we would include it. It has nothing to do with the Quebec rules. Those are totally different. No. All right. Never mind then. Anyway, so we have already told people out there that they can get that book in this giveaway, so you should join it. But if you don't win it, I'm going to sell it for $400. Somebody's going to win it. That's the okay. how it works. Okay. All right. We'll see. If that winner doesn't answer... Then I will sell it for four hundred dollars. Then we draw on eBay. a new winner who will answer. <laughs> You're just killing my fun. We could sell the other one because we have our own. Mm -hmm. But no. then, then how would we play? Well, also if it's the one that I have, I basically like, I basically like essentially treated it like I was a small child using a book and just been like, 
You've treated it like the dungeon master, like putting creases in all of those monster stat blocks. Well, yeah. I mean, how else do you cheat and then tell Warren about the monsters that we're fighting while he's trying to DM and yell at you for cheating about looking at the mor- monsters that we're fighting? I don't know. Right. Sticky tabs. <laughs> all right. So, uh, Ooh. what? Okay. Yes. Sticky tabs, the game? <laughs> no. You, 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 you have you Sticky have tabs, the lifestyle. Um, no, but the other thing we're doing, which I think is kind of cool, is our mitten. We are doing a mitten. On the 29th of this month of September. Most likely on the 29th of September. Yep. And we are going to draw four people to play with us out of the... I was like... Mitten I'm... Coaches Discord. Yes, thank you. Out, uh, of the, out of the where? The coaches are going to be the players. Mm-hmm. So uh, in, in the past, the coaches would make characters and then we would have... Uh, cast members or people that we could find uh, to play them. We, since we are now virtual, this allows us to expand that out and play with people who have internet. <laughs> yes, so so you have to have internet and a free four hours late on a Tuesday. Yep. If you're East Coast. Yep, exactly. Um, yeah, so I think that's kind of cool. And personally, I want to coach them because I'm terrible. <laughs> you know, why not coach somebody and just give them the worst advice ever and just be like, here's how Emma plays. <laughs> so, fireball? Kind of, yeah. yeah. Essentially, okay. fireball on a bicycle. Um, <laughs> what what right? else What else is on I this show? What else do we it. do on this show? Nothing. There's an usually... unopened code names. Oh, God, are we talking about all the games we've never played that we own that have never been opened? What's that one down there? Or is that just an expansion pack? Now that we're actually into this game. Oh, those are Keyforge. Game. I am saving those until <gasps> they're worth millions of dollars. Okay, they're never going to be worth millions of dollars. Just like It's not like magic cards. It's the designer of magic. Anyway. Okay. So I think that's about it. I mean, yeah. usually we talk to a guest, but we really didn't have time to like line anybody up. Yeah. Um what Do was we that? have any guests coming up soon? We do have a guest coming Ooh, up soon. Yeah, we, we have actually to schedule it. We played we test played a game. Yes. Over the internet, which was interesting. Yes, t- we used tabletop simulator for the first time Mm -hmm. and and the uh the demo of the game was also a demo of tabletop simulator it felt like it very much it was very much brett helping us basically it felt like occupational therapy where you'd be like let me grab those cards for you and shuffle them (laughs) and then and then it'd be like we'd be grabbing something and he's like oh oh you already got it okay Good, uh, good for you. Good for you learning yes. how to use a mouse and quickly click versus <laughs> long click and hold. Yes. So our uh, our former Call of Cthulhu uh, player mm-hmm. in our group designed a board game. Mm-hmm. And super cool. I was super excited to hear it when Brett was like, yeah. I designed a board game. Would you guys like to play? I was like, shut up. I know somebody who made a game. And Brandon right now is like, oh. Brandon's made board games. Yeah, but I know Brett longer than Brandon. Okay. And we knew Brett before he made board game before he made a board game. Okay. Like Brett was just like a player that we played with who would play random characters with like fancy canes and like bop people over the head with them and like first you know. he, first off he had a weapon everywhere he went he had a weighted cane <laughs> and genius like me I'm like trying to pack like <laughs> pistols and shotguns everywhere and then we're walking around London. Like well, you can't have any of that stuff mm-hmm. in London while he's while he's top hat and the weighted cane. I'm just saying, bring it back. Yeah. With a monocle, Mr. Peanut. <laughs> uh, anyway, so so our friend Brett designed a board game. Skinny jeans, you look exactly like Mr. Peanut. Okay. All right. Anyway, sorry. That game uh, ended up. So we don't know the we don't know the exact full story of the process. Mm-hmm. But, but we would like to talk to him as yeah. soon as the game is ready to hit Kickstarter. So it is going to be Kickstarter. It is called The Librarians. Yep. Um, and it, it is, in fact, based on the TNT show, The mm-hmm. Librarians. Yep. So they have IP property attached to the game. Mm-hmm. Um, and you play a, a member of the Annex, the mm-hmm. Library Annex. Yep. So it's the TV show, not like the TNT movies, you yep. know, with Noah Wiley, but it's... Um, it's the TV show. So I forgot who, who was like the star. I think Rebecca Romaine Stamos was mm-hmm. in it. Yeah. Um, and some other actors. I don't know. <laughs> and some other actors. Some other. Bob people. Hope. I mean, uh, no, Bob he was Newhart. In the, he was in the show. Did I call? I called him Bob no. Hope the other day. No, you called him Bob Newhart. I did? Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Jane Goodall. Mm. 
Jane Goodall. Is that, the, is that the yes. somebody? Uh, yeah. Is that a gorilla person? Yes. Um, She's a gorilla person, just like in Cthulhu. Just like Flint. Oh my God. Oh. Anyway, so that that's going to be kickstarting pretty soon. We're super excited. We're going to have Brett on the show to talk about it, and yeah, we're going to talk about the journey of how he made the game. So how he went from I have this an idea for a board game mm-hmm. to play testing to. Um, more playtesting, probably coming up with a theme and story because it is a story-based game, mm-hmm. uh, much like Arkham Horror, the yeah. living card game, where you are going through a number of scenarios mm-hmm. and developing the story over time. Yeah, so I think that was our direct comparison, or at least a lot of us who yeah. played were you know, automatically comparing it to Arkham Horror. So, uh, yeah, and then at some point he found this company that had the librarian's IP. Mm-hmm. They merged it together and... Then he had to watch a whole bunch of librarians. Which is crazy, because I was like, the librarians, oh my god, that's so cool. And he's like, oh, so you've heard of it? I was like, <laughs> that's what happens. When yeah. Anyway, so that is going to hit Kickstarter uh, this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're going to talk to him soon, to probably to talk about the process of that, and then probably again later when the Kickstarter launches. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that is going to be fun. Pandemic season zero. Yes, it's going to be out at some point. Yep, and didn't Isaac say he would also talk to us? Well, Matt said he. Isaac will probably talk to us about it, but he won't be much help. <laughs> I just pulled that. Sorry, I just pulled that name out of my butt. So uh, we should actually talk to Isaac. Um, anyway. Yes, but uh, Matt said that he would come on the show mm-hmm. um, once. Um, the, it's more, launched, yeah, once more, it's more, Yeah, he can talk about more stuff, mm-hmm. which, I mean, it is. It's, it's fully out there now on YouTube playthroughs, reviews, everything, so we could probably book that now. Cool. All right. So, are we wrapping this up? I think so. You're going to take it, you're going to wrap? I'm going to take it home? Wrap it, wrap it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take my werewolf solo. Werewolf solo. Ah, I'm a werewolf. And I'm hungry, because it's solo and there's no villagers. Oh, but werewolf solo, if you're a villager? Lucky days, there's no werewolves. Is this show over? It should be, yet, yet we uh, the the network keeps uh, keeps renewing our contract. It's okay, just close it out. Just okay. say goodbye. Just say goodbye. That is going to do it for this episode of the Untitled Podcast. I'm sorry, the Untitled Show Cast. Podcast. It's it, okay. It's only been a month. It's the Untitled Podcast. Uh, yeah, but I was going to rename it. I forgot that I was going to rename it, and then we... Yeah. And then you remembered? Yeah. I think you should forget again. So that is going to wrap it up for us. Uh, we will be back s- s- sooner than later than we were last time, if that makes any sense. Episode 15 not. is going to be off the hook. It'll be cray-cray. Okay, I'm cutting this off now. We're done. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, God. Stop recording. <laughs> How do I end the misery?